All right, here's an update on my experiment of growing a lettuce indoors this winter, uh, completely indoors. I'm growing it in my windowsill. There's plenty of light out here. Uh, plus I throw some, uh, some additional little uh, shop lights on there with these uh, uh, 10 watt or uh, uh, 60 watt of 5,000 K Kelvin uh, bright uh, daylight uh, color temperature LED lights. And I just clip those shop lights on and give them some additional light, but they're doing great. So I got, what I have here is, uh, I have a little romaine and uh, the romaines grow a little small uh, hydroponically here, but they're, uh, they're nice little tasty, uh, great little things for a salad. So this guy's doing pretty well. There's just only a small little bit of outer tip burn on the uh, early leaves, the oldest leaves. So this thing has been growing for about, oh, I don't know, a month to five weeks. So let's take a look, show you the, uh, show you how the roots are doing. And as you see, the roots are doing just fine. Um, got a massive amount of roots there at the bottom. So this is, uh, probably uh, uh, the second time I filled it. So basically you fill this once and it just grows. And uh, as it gets bigger, you, you top off the solution, make sure it doesn't go dry. All right, so here are, so by the way, I love, as you know, I love this technique of growing in little, these are six little Ziploc containers. And this guy is a Tom Thumb. He is super healthy, super, look at that green, super nice growth. Again, you know, it's a little bit of a small head, but they're great for little salads. This stuff grows so quick, you know, it grows. And you got, a little, here are the roots. Uh, they got, they're, they're totally white. The space blanket keeps all the light out, does not let algae grow. So the only discoloration there is, uh, you know, maybe the roots got a little bit burnt as the uh, solution went a little dry. But notice that there's no, this that little rock wool cube does not require any other kind of media. So it's kind of known as media list. So these guys are just growing great. Uh, I love it. Uh, I've got to start eating these. So they're not going to get too much bigger. And there's no point anyway. Uh, you know, it's more than I can eat. So I got to start eating them and enjoying them. So let me just show you the technique. I'm just going to show you um, the... Right, so these, so what I do is I just buy uh, any kind of romaine uh, seeds do fine. They just they just don't grow as as huge as they might outdoors, which might take. I think the I think when you grow romaine, it'll tell you that it takes quite a while. There might be 68 days of maturity, and you know if you grow them with a lot of I don't know perfectly outside, they might get this big. You grow them hydroponically, they get about this big in 30 something days and you just eat them, they're, they're great. Uh, this Tom Thumb, who knows, maybe it's a small head. Uh, this thing also is 40 to 50 days maturity. Matures a lot faster right here when we grow them hydroponically. Uh, this is the setup. So I love I love the plastic look. It, it, it fits with the whole modern design uh, of my condo here. So these little um, Ziploc containers, you get, I think maybe a buck each approximately. I cut out a hole in the top and that will fit a Rockwell cube. So you, know, you can plant your little lettuce seed down that Rockwell cube. And you can probably, plant the whole thing like that as you know I fill up I fill up the reservoir and make sure that it does not touch the bottom of the cube so you basically just get the humidity uh, to to feed the seed until it until it throws the root down and then uh, just once it hits the solution it just it just goes crazy so uh, the important thing about not 
uh, keeping the rock wool cube totally soaked is that um, is that you get uh, a much cleaner growth, white roots, no no bacteria overgrowth or whatever you call it, just no bacteria, massive browning of the water or anything like that. So uh, yeah, anyway, that's a little update. That's a little update. Just it's look at that harvest. And it's, uh, you know, of course, this thing's very affordable. You could move it anywhere you want. So uh, bottom line is it grows great indoors during the winter. The temperatures are about, uh, you know, below 25. Sometimes it gets hotter if uh, the air conditioning doesn't kick in. So, but uh, yeah, no problem. No bolting, uh, no nothing, no problem. Just all lettuce heads growing. All right, so that's it. I'll see you guys later.